This is Sweeney Lens, your exhausted photographer, and I have here my mom's old K1000 Pentax camera. I just got it shipped in from my hometown because I plan on using this camera largely for a lot of the analog photography that I plan on doing for my store. And if you're interested in any of the uh, shots that I, I have on sale, you can check that out in the link in my description. In the meantime, I really need to clean this guy because it is horrific. Just looking in the viewfinder, it looks absolutely terrible because it's just very dirty. I don't know when the last time this thing was cleaned. So please join me in cleaning this camera. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is open this up, realizing that I forgot a cleaning tool, which I did not mean to do at all. So the main thing that we're gonna do right now is clean this piece of glass. Now, generally what I do, is, what I usually do is I have a, a cleaning pen, a lens pen, if you will, that I use to clean this out. But since I did not bring that with me, shame on me. I really need to, really should have thought to do that. I'm just gonna very carefully wipe this down and I also have this tool that I call the rocket. Um, it, at my former job at a camera rental company, we would call it a blower, but I liked Rocket better because it just sounded better to me. A little fun fact, this would actually be a much better way of cleaning out an N64 cartridge than blowing it with your breath because that has spittle in it. Uh, that's not always the best thing to have in your cartridge when you are cleaning something or in your chamber right here. So what you're doing here is getting out all of that dust. Also, I tend to run out of breath way faster. So this thing just helps out, helps out a ton. I am gonna set this aside for now because that chamber is good. Now this is actually where the lens pen would come in the most handy. And I am looking around. I don't have it on me right now. I don't know why I don't. Um, it's like the most useful thing right now. Anyway, the lens pen, it's just, you can just make full circles. And you can still do this with a lens cloth as well. It's not an absolute necessity. It just makes life easier. There we go. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, you can, maybe you can see on the edge. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of stuff on the edge. That's especially where the lens pen is great, is to get all this stuff on the very edges. May have to find that again at some point and continue that because this looks like the best I can do at the moment. In case you ever want to get into cleaning of any sort, these are the tools that you're going to want to use. Everyone ends up using their own little nickname for things. I tend to use the blower for this guy. You can find everything at B&H except for two things, a toothbrush and uh, a little bottle, a little spray bottle of alcohol. It's just to get griminess off of everything. Let's see. For instance, let's say the inside of here was really dirty like it was with another camera. You could simply spray that here and then start scrubbing and then in order to make sure that the alcohol does not remain you can simply do this and now this is in a controlled environment if this were out in the field i would be using different tools this, these are not the things i would use if i had an issue while out on a photo shoot or anything else that's professional but here when you're in a controlled environment these can be the best 
items that you can use. Now I'm actually going to use it to clean the rest of the camera body in just a second. But what I want to do is make sure that, I think I may have gotten some alcohol on there. I think I'm gonna have to come back and use that lens pen. Is that glass, like I said, I'm not sure when this was last cleaned. It's been decades, I can guarantee you, because the last time this was used was by me in college, like an eternity ago, <laughs> an eternity ago. So what I'm gonna do next is actually put this back on and then put the lens cap back on and basically give it a bath. And then we're gonna scrub it down. So I'm sure somebody is bound to be thinking, who the heck is this person? Why are you sounding so official and stuff? How are you able to talk while cleaning at the same time? Multitasking, oh my gosh. The answer to one of those is I used to be a video tech at a camera rental company called Lens Rentals. And I don't work for them. The, there is no affiliation uh, with them right now, so I feel, I feel free to say that. I was a video technician. I was not a photo technician, which is where photo techs are the ones who you, who they'll look at like whichever pin tacks you might have. Let's say they still have K1000s. They would be looking at the, certain photo techs would be looking at the camera bodies. Other techs would be looking at the lenses specifically. And uh, just on a, any given day, you might be working on one type of lens for, for the entire day might be working on a particular lens body another day. And then what I did was I worked on more cinematic cameras, like uh, the Blackmagic design line. And I'm not going to list them because I worked on all of them. I had to know a lot of them. Also GoPros, like the one I'm using right now and what I'm pointing at <laughs> with my tooth toothbrush. I worked on all the GoPros starting with four up until 10. I had to learn and understand all the accessories too. So there's gunk. Gunk all around this. But even though I didn't work with photography type of gear. I definitely snuck over to, my former manager might see this eventually and go, oh goodness, that's a shocker. Josie going over to someone else's desk and, desk and talking for an indeterminate amount of time? Yes, yes, Eric, I did. Um, I talked to them and the repair department almost every single day. And I got to learn quite a bit of stuff from them. Now, got to do a little test. Something in here, I'm gonna have to see if I can't take a photo after this because something in here is still incredibly dirty. It just, it looks horrible. It looks horrible, horrible. I just don't know what it is. I think it's the inside of the viewfinder. Ooh, I might have to open this guy up. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, and I might even share some, some stories uh, of my time there. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, what would you like to hear about next? Would you like to see the inside of a K1000 Pentax? after you see how nasty <laughs> the inside of this viewfinder is, please check out my website. I'm selling photos, uh, digital and analog, which is why I'm getting into all of these cameras, including my, old, my mom's old camera. I wanna start discussions. I, I love these cameras. I love them enough to, to clean them thoroughly, even though I don't have my lens pen today. And I hope you got value out of this. 
please let me know what you think about this camera or any other camera. I just want to talk about cameras. It's all a learning process for everybody involved. This is Sweeney Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.